there has been as high as a 4,000% increase in children being referred to so-called gender clinics across the United States. I was one of these children. My name is Chloe Cole, and I am an 18-year-old former transgender child. I transitioned from the age of 12 up until 16 when I realized it all was a lie. My story is cautionary tale. Children and parents across the country have been caught off guard by gender ideology. Discussions about gender, transgenderism and gender identity went from being a relatively benign social oddity to a doctrine as invaded nearly every academic, medical, and educational institution, seemingly overnight. How did we get to this point? How did we get to the point where nearly every pediatric institution in the country considers it best practice to remove the healthy breast tissue of children while administering drugs typically used to chemically castrate high-risk sex offenders. Pathways to net zero in 2050. Do you know uh, what the International Energy Energy um, Agency has said is required to meet our go global 2050 net zero targets of limiting global temperature rise to 2.7 degrees Fahrenheit or 1.5 uh, degrees Celsius? So no new fossil fuel production starting today. That's so that's like zero. So I would like to ask all of you and go down the list, because again, you all have agreed to doing this. Please answer with a simple yes or no. Does your bank have a policy against funding new oil and gas products? Mr. Diamond. Absolutely not. And that would be the road to hell for America. Yeah.